Hi everyone, let's solve this question which is a question formed based on the questions given in the GMAT official advanced questions book. Let's read the question. The alphabets C U T E R T can be used to form six letter strings such as cutter, teruk, etc. Using these alphabets, how many different six letter strings can be formed in which the two occurrences of the letter T are separated by at least one other alphabet? So over here we are given these six letters or alphabets and we are asked to form strings such that a particular condition is met all right so before we solve this together pause the video and give it a try all right we're back i hope you have given it a try now let's try to do this together now the best way to solve these type of questions is to find all the different types of permutations or arrangements which can be formed minus the violations of the given condition so over here the given condition is that the two occurrences of the letter t should not be together or they should be separated by at least one other alphabet now let's go ahead and first find all the different types of arrangements which can be formed or all the different types of six letter strings which can be formed without taking into consideration the condition right so for this we have six letters and two of them are repeating therefore the number of arrangements which can be formed is 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Now you would have studied this when you studied permutations right. Now if you have n different letters then the number of arrangements or permutations that can be formed would be n factorial. Now if out of these n let's say there are 2 uh, letters which are repeating and let's say there are another 3 letters which are repeating like for example you have a a b b b and then you have c and d now if this was the case then the number of arrangements or permutations which can be done would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that's the total number of letters so that's 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial because these are repeating all right so that was just a side note now let's continue all right now we have found all the possible strings that can be formed which is 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial now let's go ahead and try to find the violations all right so the violation would be if the two t's are occurring together because the condition that we need to fulfill is that they should not be together right so let's take them together so that would be c u and then the two t's are taken as one entity and then we have e and r so this is nothing but having one two three four five five unique items right and all of them are different so if you have five items and you want to arrange them then the number of ways in which you can do that is n factorial or in this case five factorial all right so we have found both of these now to find the answer all we need to do is six factorial divided by two factorial minus the violations which is five factorial now let's take out 5 factorial so this would be equal to 5 factorial into 6 by 2 factorial minus 1 right because over here 2 factorial is nothing but 2 itself and from 6 factorial if you take out 5 factorial you're left with 6 right because 6 factorial is 6 into 5 factorial now let's simplify this 5 factorial is equal to 120 and 6 by 2 that's equal to 3 right so 3 minus 1 that gives us 2 so this is nothing but 120 into 2 which is equal to 240 and that is our answer which is answer option B. Remember to subscribe and like this video. All the best in your preparation.